as most of y'all know, I ran for president, but my campaign was censored. There was some election fraud that went on there to, because what happened is I had already been censored before I started running for president and they kept the censorship up. So um, they didn't think it mattered that I ran for president because they have the Supreme Court and the judicial branch in their pocket. I'm talking about these politicians that um, pushed for censoring me a long time ago and the FBI. And they, they have a very close relationship with judges. And they control so many people in the FBI that they censored me. And so um, I thought I'd have a little talk about what I, what my inauguration would look like if I had won the presidency. Because I saw on TV like all these National Guard troops sleeping inside the Capitol. And I thought, wow, that's a great thing from a COVID-19 perspective. <laughs> Let's just turn the Capitol into a, into like a giant, giant jail that's not even modularized. It's just like one location where all these people get to sleep in the same room and give each other COVID. And, and, and if one person has COVID-19, they're all going to have it. So uh, what would my inauguration look like? It would be a day of magic and mystery. It would be like the greatest Grammys of all time. We would have everyone wearing fun costumes and we would not pack together in one location. It would be a digital thing and there'd probably be like less than 500 people there and we would have a beautiful filming location and it would be all about the viewers at home. It wouldn't be a come to the inauguration type thing. The problem is Joe Biden's old school. He's what, like almost 80 now, right? Everyone's almost 80 that's in charge. And um, he wants to make sure that he has an inauguration. So he wants to be outside and he wants to have giant crowds and he wants to have a place where everyone can go and be angry at him. And uh, my inauguration might be at an undisclosed location. Like you might find out where the inauguration is being filmed while it's being filmed. Um, and my inauguration would not really have troops. There'd be secret service there. And I mean, I could do my inauguration in the basement. Come on, Chief Justice, you can come swear me in here. Um, I'd, I'd actually probably do a better location because I'd need higher ceiling because I, I potentially, I'd go to MGM and film it on a movie set and um, we would use green screens and we would have special effects and it would be like a music video. Um, it would be cool. Um, the last thing I would do is have an inauguration that puts 20,000 troops in danger because what we've done is we, who, who all remembers Joe Biden's ad about the resolute desk, like he's like all about like, I want the resolute desk. I want to sit in the white house at the resolute desk because he wants to be president at that desk. And he wants to do all the symbolic bullshit without actually, um, doing anything with teeth. And what I'm saying is, um, we need a president that doesn't do symbolic crap. We need a president that actually deals with COVID-19 and, um, I feel like what's going to happen is a bunch of symbolism and nothing's actually going to get done. So um, we have a Congress that their, their time right now is spent impeaching Trump when the Senate trial can't even begin while Trump's still in office. So he can never be removed from office based on the impeachment. The purpose of impeachment is to remove this guy from office. And I'm sure a lot of people think, no, we're trying to prevent him from running for president when he's 84 years old. It's like, okay, guys. That's great for you. Um, if he's really um, that impeachment worthy, he's not going to get elected if he tries to run, but he's definitely um, going to be so freaking old. Like he might be dead by the time he runs for president again. I'm just saying. So that would be, be my inauguration. I would have clowns and I'd have circus du, Cirque du Soleil people spinning around while I'm trying to swear, get sworn in. And I would have um, a magical experience that is brought to you by John Favreau. <laughs> I go hire people from Hollywood to um, consult on how to make this this set awesome because I, I would want the coolest set of all time. Like I, I would put serious, serious cash into not troops sleeping together in the Capitol for symbolic reasons. Um, I'd put um, 
a lot of money into making the inauguration fun for viewers at home. 